Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47.
Hey, what's up? My bad, sir. Hello, come in! Come in! I can see you have an eye for high-quality pottery. How may I help you? How's your father? Doing well. Thanks for asking. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So he doesn't miss the old school? Well, he was headmaster for 30 years. He still carries around the master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks? He doesn't seem to be able to part with the damn thing. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now he'll be a famous writer instead. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. According to his son, he kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, this opens any lock in the building. Right, and <laughs> maybe my carpets are magical. Oh, give your old man some credit, Marwen. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you around. Yep, up, up, and away. Joy, job. Sir, this is my last chance. You're not allowed to pass. If I don't make a sale soon, I can't even make a sword plug for it. I mean, uh...
tears me a new one. All right, I'll hold down the fort. Take the tunnel, it's way faster. Yeah, yeah. Some kind of soldier? So much for breaking and entering. You're in. Good work, 47. Now to locate General Zaydan. mastermind in this coup by himself? Come on, he doesn't have the smarts.
No salute. Are you here to gloat, Reza? Thought you had a government to overthrow. You should always embrace the small pleasures. You sold us out, Zion. And I would do it again. Proudly. You're a monster, Reza. I am sorry about your brother. He wasn't supposed to have been a prison transport. But you know what they say about Woods. And he died for a cause. To line the pockets of your mysterious backers. I didn't say it was a good cause. Right, right. Well, this was lovely. Now please leave. That's it? No threats? No, I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Reza. Oh, I will kill you. If it's the last thing I do. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strand. Impressive 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? Six small screws and five sort of smaller screws. Five. Can that be right? That's what it says. Okay, what else? It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't. 
can't keep me in here under these circ- say you're not the one supposed to be doing deep tissue massage in a freaking war zone okay it is that bad donald it is believe me yeah no do not put me on hold hey what the hell According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at the clinic, here for has apparently already Strandberg. checked into the building. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Hey, that hurt. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I, I just gotta Go check to you. Room. Your session awaits. Uh, <laughs> I don't like this either. Klaus Strandberg, please go to the massage room. All right, you're good. You're good to go. Easy now, big guy. Ah, so, the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please, call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. That's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Hell, people are funny. The fact is, if those morons had bothered to learn the first thing about market investments, my scheme would never have worked. Greed and ignorance, my friend. Those are the cornerstones to any good con. But you see, easy money, that's all people care about. So they can drive their ridiculous urban SUVs and drink wine on a Thursday, on a Tuesday, whatever, and tell each other how they've made it. It's pathetic. I own a private jet. 
I made it. But tell you what, you seem like a sensible guy, so I'll give you this one for free. You should pack up and leave the country, because things are about to become unpleasant. So, I feel a lot better. You both targets down. Now head towards an exit. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. But still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... This plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. Seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was that? Money? <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives. Like you. Take a trench, Director. And make it a deep one. Because none of you are safe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 